two blocks connected with a spring. Block A in figure has mass 1 kg and block B has mass 3 kg. The blocks are forced together, compressing a spring S between them, and then the system is released from rest on a level, frictionless surface. The spring, which has negligible mass, is not fastened to either block and drops to the surface after it has expanded. Block B acquires a speed of 1.20 meters per second. Part A, what is the final speed of block A? Part B, how much potential energy was stored in the compressed spring? Now you can see that for this system of two blocks and the spring, we don't have any other external forces acting on the system. So, since the net external force acting on the system is zero, we require that the total linear momentum, dp total dt is uh, zero, this implies conservation of linear momentum. Okay, so initial speed for the both blocks VA and VB were uh, zero. Uh, finally, block A has 1.2 meters per second uh, speed. So initially the system was at rest. So if I write the total linear momentum initially, it was uh, zero. The final linear momentum uh, will be MA PA final plus MB VB final. Uh, so this will be uh, mass of block A was 1 kilogram, so VA final plus mass of block B is 3 kilograms, final speed 1.2. So we find that uh, VA final. is equal to minus 3.6 meters per second. So the minus sign indicates that it's going to be traveling to the left. Okay, so the conservation of linear momentum dictates that if the spring is compressed and released, finally block A will be traveling to the left, while block B will be traveling to the right. So that seems to make sense. And in part B, how much is the potential energy stored in the spring? Initial kinetic energy is zero. Final kinetic energy is one half M A V A final square plus one half M B V B final square, which is one half uh, M A is one, uh, V A final is three point six, so it's three point six square plus one half three one point two square. This must be equal to minus the change in potential energy, which is initial potential energy minus final potential energy, which is also equal to the potential energy stored in the spring, one half K delta X max squared. So we find that the initial potential energy uh, turns out to be eight point 64 joules. Why? Because finally the spring is relaxed. It will have no potential energy. So U final is zero joules. All right. So basically we have obtained the initial potential energy as one half 
ma va final square plus one half mb bb final square now why is the mechanical energy conserved delta e mechanical which is delta k plus delta u equal to zero because we have no friction in the system therefore we have conservation of energy mechanical energy because there is no external force that will consume energy or provide energy to the system okay so uh, we have two blocks with masses one kilograms three kilograms compressing a spring s and the system is initially at rest then we release the system the two blocks have a final uh, velocity ma moves to the left and b moves to the right the spring is relaxed so we want to know the final speed of block a and how much potential energy was stored by compressing the spring uh, the linear momentum in this case is conserved because there is no external force on the system the initial uh, linear total linear momentum was zero final uh, linear momentum will be MAVA final plus MBVB final which is equal to zero this is one dimensional motion so I can uh, basically indicate the directions using the signs here VA final turns out to be minus 3.6 meters per second with the minus sign indicating that it is traveling to the left basically we are saying that this is the positive X direction and uh, initial kinetic energy was zero the system was uh, at rest final kinetic energy is uh, the final kinetic energy due to the two blocks moving with speeds VA final and VB final the final potential energy is zero because the spring will be relaxed e eventually but the initial potential energy is the energy stored due to the maximum compression on the spring so which can be found by uh, calculating the final kinetic energy of the system uh, because the mechanical energy is conserved delta k plus delta u is zero and that's due to the fact that there is no friction in the system and no external force um, giving us a source of energy